Welcome to our KCSE revision. Our topic of discussion is uh, fatal locality. The question is uh, KCSE 1995. Find the value of x that satisfies the equation. Log uh, 2x minus 11 minus log 2 is equal to t log 3 minus log x. So in this equation, the problem contains only the locality. So to log the locality. So we say that it log log the logarithm log the logarithms because the problem contains only the logarithm. Contains only the logarithms. So you would drop the logarithm and then we have our new operation here is minus. So this subtraction will change into division. We can have uh, 2 x minus 11. We divide by 2. This one is equal to t. 3 divided by x. Plus multiplication, we have x into 2x, so we have this is uh, 2x squared minus 11x because we will have x times 11 is equal to t. 2 times 3 is given as 6. We can perform an quadratic equation here, so we have 2x squared minus 11x minus 6, in this case is equal to t, 0. We use the quadratic formula which says that uh, x is equal to t minus t plus or minus. We have a square root of t squared minus 4 ac, then we divide by 2 times a. In our case, our a is equal to t, 2, t is equal to t negative 11, and then c is equal to t. Negative six. So in our equation we have negative negative here. Then we have c is also negative negative times this negative will change into a positive. We have this equals to negative eleven. We have this negative and this negative will change into positive. And therefore our x is equals to t eleven plus or minus the square root of um, eleven squared is given as one hundred and twenty one. This one will be changing the positive because negative times a negative is a positive. Then we have 4 times 2 times 6, we have uh, 48. We divide by uh, four, 2 times 2, which is, which is 4. So we can have uh, 121 uh, plus 48 is given as that. The square root of the answer is equal to so we can have uh, 11 plus or minus, this is 13, then we divide it by 4. When we take this one to be positive, we can have 11 plus 13 or over 4, which gives us, so we have 11 plus 13, then we divide it by 4, this one is given by 24, and then 24 divided by 4, we have the uh, 1.5 24 divided by 4 so we have this is 24 divided by 4 is given as 6 so we have this one as 6 so we have x is equivalent to t 6 if we take this one to be a negative we can have 11, 11 minus 13 divided by 4 which is equal to t so we have 11 Minus 13 is given as that divided by 4, so we have that one as 0.5. So this one is negative 0.5. So from here, our x is equal to 6, or x is equal to t negative 0.5. But our question we want is to find the value of x that satisfies the equation, you must have to satisfy. So the value of x must satisfy the equation. So as a equation, we have uh, t to this quadratic 
the quadratic equation we have. So we have two x squared minus eleven x minus six is equal to zero. When x is equal to six, what's happening? So we can have when x is equal to six, we have two uh, into bracket. Uh, x is equal to six, so we have six mm, then squared, we square that minus eleven into the value of six, the value of x will be six, and then we have that minus six. This one is giving us zero. So zero is equal to zero. So what about when x is equal to 0 0.5? When x is equal to 0 0.5, we can have 2 into bracket uh, 0 0.5 squared minus 11 into bracket 0 0.5, and then minus, minus 6. This one is giving us 11. So negative 11 is equal to 0. So this one, it fails. It cannot satisfy the equation. So we have x is equal to 6, in this case if you know, so if you know, uh, x is equal to t, negative 0 0.5, because negative 0 0.5 does not satisfy the equation. So this is this one, when uh, it was high school, playlist, with Marita James, then you will get more of these questions there. Thank you.